Here are some crucial things when filmmaking that will help elevate your project or just make it run more smoothly. One thing you always must remember is that your shutter speed should be double your frame rate. Sometimes and when you do that your lighting will change so you will have to play with your aperture or ISO to help with that. But also if they are in the right settings of what you want to need. You can also get a variable ND filter which is like sunglasses for your camera which will help when you film outside mainly that's what I mainly use it for if I ever go outside but I mainly shoot at 24 frames per second as it's an industry standard. If my camera had a 1 over 48 as a shutter speed I will use it but my camera doesn't so I have to use what 1 over 50 as my shutter speed but here's what my shutter speed would look like well here's what the the image will look like if I was to wave at different uh, shutter speeds but keeping my FPS exactly the same. There are times when you can lower or raise your shutter but it does just depend on what your what you want for your project and like at the moment I've got my Canon 1300D so I can't really do much in terms of shutter speed with it. Hopefully when I get a new camera, which hopefully will be soon, I'll be able to make projects with higher or lower shutter speeds depending on what I want to use it for. But one main thing with shutter speed and changing it is that your lighting will change so it is important to have good lighting as well. Uh, lighting is what, one of the things what can make or break a production. It's, it's not good. If there's not good lighting, your audience are more likely to click away. If they don't like it like for example if I was to turn off my lights right now you can clearly see the difference I am a lot darker in the video so it just helps to have good lighting like I used to use my window light and also a really cheap video light I used to put on, on one of my old skateboards and just hang it really like around there next to me but if you do look at them videos it's not good at all so I just recommend if you do have the money try to buy good lights you can use natural light and stuff but it is just better to have some dedicated lights sometimes if it doesn't look good you can fix it in post but try and fix everything in camera as much as you can it will save you out save you a lot of hassle and when you're actually editing but there's one main thing which can definitely make or break a production and that's uh, sound and sound design but first let's talk about epidemic sounds Epidemic Sounds has got a fantastic and massive sound library what you can use which you don't you won't need to worry about copyright claims or DMCA's uh, so it can help creators, filmmakers and streamers alike and there is a link in the description where you get a 30 day free trial if you continue the trial I will get a small kickback in return so it does help me out and it helps you out with a massive sound library I try to use epidemic sounds if I don't record the sounds myself and with my previous video about my travels to Turkey I used epidemic sounds for every sound effect and every song in that video but now back onto the video I did already make a video about uh, sound and the importance of it so I will talk about it really quickly but if you do want to go see the full video please go watch it sound design can help make your audience feel fully immersed as if it's not good audio again the audience will just click away but when it is good audio your audience is more engaged and can focus a lot more here are two examples of things I've made with sound design one with no sound at all and the other with sound effects in music and just put down in the comments below which one is a lot better
But when Edison sounds, and just Edison in general, your timeline can become massive, but also your file system can also be really confusing. So it is also good to have a really good file management. I do have a basic template for these videos which I do make a fo new folder for every single video I make which will have different sections in like b-roll, a-roll, audio and graphics and also one for shorts and exports so the a-roll will have my talking head which I'm ha doing right now my b-roll will have any other videos like showing me showing you the actual file system the waving of shutter speeds the sequences i've made for these videos and then sound effect sound or audio will have sound effects music and voiceovers all in different files to make sure it gets less confusing and it's easy for me to manage. Graphics will have any graphics I've made or need for this video or for any shorts or anything I will make and with the video as well which then for shorts it's just easier to have the shorts separate then exports, it's my final video or any versions I want to keep of the video if I have made any changes. My file, file management is always improving, changing, but there's also in DaVinci Resolve, I will also have the same exact same bins I've just spoke about in DaVinci Resolve as well, just making sure it is split up so it makes it a lot easier and when I also edit. In the future, I will make a, a video how I actually film all my videos. So please subscribe if you do want to see that. Again, my file management always keeps improving, changing, but there's one thing you need to remember when filming, and that's the 180 degree rule, which it talks about how your camera, when there's mainly two people talking, there'll be an invisible line where the camera isn't allowed to pass. So here's an image of what a shot I made on my phone, and it shows all of the I think green or blue cameras are that's where you can have your camera and where the red is you can't have your camera because it does make it unnatural after you, if you move your camera after the fact to another side there are times you can also break this rule again but it is also in certain situations these are just rules or fundamentals which will help pr productions you don't always have to use them all exactly you can change things around like your shutter speed with audio, there's many different things you can change. Lighting, obviously lighting can be really different. File management, everyone would more than likely have a different file system, what they'll mainly use. And then 180 degree rule, obviously, there will be times where you do like, like Michael Bay, he does a lot of like orbital shots where that will break the 180 degree rule but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe links to everything i use in the description below they are all affiliate links so i get a kickback in return but please if you do want more information about anything please comment and thank you for watching